More and more mysterious lights appear everywhere, all around the world. Despite the fact that these strange lights appear in the sky at night in places separated by several thousand kilometers, these appear to have some similarities. Similarities in the way of moving, of appearing, of behaving. At each appearance, the same questions arise which remain unanswered. What are these strange lights in the sky? How to explain them? Are they extraterrestrial or are they man-made? What is the meaning of all this? What message should be understood if it's a message? Section 51. Hi everyone, what's up guys? Those Geek here again with Section 51. Big thanks as always for your support to the channel and welcome to the new viewers. Before starting, let's like and share this new video right now to keep supporting Section 51. And please let me invite you to watch this new video until the end. I hope you're well and that you are ready. Let's start right now. More and more mysterious lights appear everywhere. Firstly, mysterious lights flickering in the night sky on June the 21st in Junakat, Upleta, India, and nearby regions of Saurashtra in Gujarat have left residents excited and perplexed. Videos of these events have gone viral on social media. In Upleta town in Rajkot district, people heard a loud boom, followed by burning objects appearing to fall from the sky but blazing out before they could hit the ground. Some suspected it could be a fighter jet of the Indian Air Force, though they didn't have an official word from defense authorities. Jets often fly in Upleta skies after taking off from the Jamnagar Air Base. But according to local stargazer experts, the most likely explanation was that the lights were flares deployed by a fighter aircraft on a sortie. Moreover, people in Upleta heard a sonic boom, which could also suggest the presence of a fighter aircraft. Anyway, even if there is a lot of chances that it is flares, the moves of these lights and the way they appear and disappear remain very strange. It's not something you see every day. And I think it would be very helpful to have the advice of military or vets on this to see if it's consistent with what they are used to see. But there is still a problem with this video because officials said that while the presence of fighter aircraft in the region of the Upleta and Junagat is not new, the lights seen flickering in the videos are not the lights that emanate from jet engines or flares deployed by aircraft. And no official probe has been ordered yet by the Gujarat government or the IAF, so it doesn't help solve the mystery of this UFO sighting. What could it be if it's not flares? Another strange report was sent to me today by another viewer. Roy, who witnessed these strange lights at night while he was driving on the road to Sela, a city in Yakima County, Washington, USA. Strange lights moving slowly in a triangular formation over the area. Then we can see in the video that the lights move separately and go in the direction of the car before disappearing. Roy reported this sighting to the MUFON in May 2021. Case 115-819. But MUFON investigators were not able to give an explanation of what it was. I was on my way home from work, then I noticed those three lights, with a good view of the city. So I figured even if they're planes or helicopter it would be a great video. Then I noticed them come towards me before they disappeared. My reaction was to look out the window. I thought I saw the bottom of the craft.
Once I felt like I saw the bottom of the craft it caused me to panic and throw my phone to the passenger seat. I felt like I was gonna get abducted. It was a crazy experience. MUFON concluded the case to be UAV, Unidentified Aerial Vehicle, meaning that what was seen could not be identified as any known man-made or natural object and that some sort of craft was seen. After few questions, Roy answered me that there is a training center in Ellensburg, a training center used for maneuver training, land warrior system testing, and as a live fire exercise area. It is located in the south central portion of the US state of Washington. So could this UFO sighting be connected with military exercises? Once again, could it be flares deployed by some aircraft? I think this is an authentic video, but the fact that people could see flares for military training in the sky over cities seems quite strange to me. There is generally no practice of firing in an inhabited area. So how can we explain the presence of these lights in this area with people? just over the cars. Moreover, they seem to move independently. At the beginning, it seems to be a triangle shape or a triangle aircraft with three lights, but then quickly it appears that the lights can move separately and disappear one by one. I don't have any explanation for this. I don't know what it could be, but I guess it must be very impressive when you meet that kind of phenomenon. Whether one is in India or in the USA, this makes this video mysterious. Imagine these lights don't have man-made origins. How were they created and for what purpose? Maybe we can only see the lights of a stealth aircraft, or the lights of an aircraft flying in another dimension. A dimension that we can see with the naked eye. What's your feeling about all this? What would be your interpretation? How can we explain what we see in these images with the limits of our knowledge? To what extent is our field of perception of these phenomena distorted? Do these phenomena have extraterrestrial origins and how do you make contact with these lights? What is sure is that it doesn't really seem to be very natural. Please leave me your reaction down below the video and big thanks to the viewers for sending me these videos. I hope you enjoyed this new video. Section 51 is on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share it, to subscribe to the channel and to support section 51. Thank you, I'll be back really soon, open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper. <laughs>